So we saw in the last video that the derivative of x squared is equal to 2x. So we'll just write that here. So it's d dx of x squared is equal to 2x. Now what we're going to talk about um, in this video is the power rule. We're going to just show a shortcut how to get from 2x, or sorry, from x squared to 2x. Well, what the power rule is is it's right. It's written like this. Uh, d dx of x to the n, talking about powers here, is going to be equal to nx to the n to the power of n minus 1. And that's all it is. It's really simple. So um, all those steps we went through in the last video, here, I'll put the link up here. Um, click here. Click here. Okay, so if you want to see the video that just uh, the last video that explains differentiation and introduced the idea um, of derivatives and actually went through this example here, uh, just click here and uh, that link will take you there. But anyways, back to this video. So uh, let's go back to uh, black. Um, yeah, let's do this in black. Okay, so if we follow this rule, um, so say we want here. Let's do a different color, just because we can. So let's say we want d dx of x squared, like we did up here. Um, now, without having to go through the limit definition, this is our n value. This is 2. So the derivative of x squared, we're going to bring the 2 down. And we're going to get 2x to the power of 2 minus 1. And that's going to be equal to 2x to the power of 1, which is equal to 2x. Not so bad, hey? Uh, saves a lot of time. Let's do another one. Let's switch the color. Uh, say we want d dx. We want the derivative of, uh, how about x to the 3? Well, we're going to bring the 3 down. So this will be equal to 3 times x. And to the power of 3 minus 1 is to the power of 2. And that's all the power rule is. That skips that entire limit definition. Now let's do some more. Um, let's say we have, uh, we want d dx of the square root of x. Well, the square root of x, um, this is the same thing as x to the power of 1 half, right? So when we come down here, this will be equal to, we'll take the 1 half and bring it in front. 1 half times, now this is also, the x is going to remain there, and 1 half minus 1 half will be to the power of minus 1 half. Now we can clean this up a little bit more, or we could say this would be 1 over 2 root x. Now what if we had something that looked like this? Um, d dx, let's say to the power, uh, or the derivative of x, right? I want to find out what the derivative of just x is. So well, this is to the power of 1. So this will bring the 1 down. And so we'll get 1 times x. Um, and then 1 minus 1 is 0 to the power of 0. And so anything to the power of 0 is 1. So we get 1 times 1. So this is equal to 1. And we'll do one last one. Let's say one last power, power rule example. What if we had d dx? Let's say maybe x to the minus 2, right? This is the same thing um, as writing it like this. d dx of 1 over x squared, right? That negative exponent just means we're putting it on the bottom. Um, we're putting 1 over x squared. So uh, it's easier. I find it's easier to work like this. So if you ever get a problem that says the derivative of 1 over x squared, just make it x to the minus 2, and you'll see that when we do that, we'll bring the minus 2 out in front. So it'll be minus 2x. And minus 2 minus 1 is the power of minus 3. And again, then you can clean it up if you like, or you can just leave it like this. Uh, this is also equal to negative 2 over x cubed. Now just to keep in mind, we are solving for the derivative. Um, so for all of these, for example, the derivative of x squared we talked about um, the slope at any point of x is going to be 
two times the x value. And same thing here, if our function was f of x is equal to x, that's the same thing as x is equal to y, right? So that's just going to give us a slope with uh, a rise over one, a rise over run of one. So just keep in mind that all these values we're finding here are the slopes at any given point of x. You can choose any value for x that's part of the domain, and these are the this will give you the slope of that function.